Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make an effect like this one. We're gonna make this effect in Unreal by using the Niagara Particle System. But before we begin, let me say that I'm not a specialist in VFX and I'm still learning how this system works as you do. Also, you'll need to have some basic in Unreal to be able to follow along. This tutorial is gonna be in two parts. The first one is where we're gonna construct the materials and the second one is where we're gonna make the effects in Niagara. In order to make this effects, I made some simple assets by using Blender and Krita. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download them so you can follow along. First, import the asset in the VFX folder. You're gonna find two textures and one mesh. Let's add them in a new folder to keep things organized. Now let's create another folder for the materials. Inside of it, let's start making the materials we're gonna need for the FX. We're gonna make three materials and totals. This is gonna be the first one. Let's name it M underscore ground glow. Now let's double click to open it. In the material settings, let's modify the blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit. Don't forget to check the two-sided while you're here. In the graph editor, let's right-click and search for particle color. After that, let's search for radial gradient exponential. Right-click on the radius, then promote it to a parameter. And let's also do the same for the density. Let's give the radius a value of 0.38 and the density 0.805. Those values gonna give us a nice circular gradient. Let's add two multiply nodes by holding M and left click like this and connect them like that. Don't forget to also check the two-sided and the material parameter. Now for the second one, let's call it m underscore circle underscore zero one and open it like the last time. Let's also modify it to translucent and unlit material like the first one. Let's again add a particle color. After that, right click and search for texture coordinate. Let's add a multiply node and grab a constant vector tool over there. For the values, let's add 1 and 1. Now search for texture sample or hold T and left click and connect the multiply result and the UVs like so. And the texture sample, let's add this texture that we imported. Now grab the alpha and search for power, let's give it a value of 3. After that, let's search for the time node and also a panel node. We're gonna take the texture coordinate and multiply it by 2 and then connect them like so. For the panel node, let's give the speed x a value of minus 1. Let's also add the texture sample node by holding T and right click and search in the material section and node textures. You can choose any one you have. Let's connect them and power the result. After that, let's combine them together with the multiply node. And then multiply it again by the alpha of the particle color. What's left is to finish it like this.
Now let's save this material and go for the last one. For the last one, let's call it circle underscore 02 and open it. Let's modify it again to a translucent inanimate material like the last time. Don't forget to check the two-sided. Again, add the particle color and connect them like this. Let's add a multiply node and connect them like so. Now let's also add a texture coordinate and a multiply node and grab another custom vector tool over there. Now add a texture sample by holding T and left click. And add the second texture that we imported. For the constant vector, let's add three for the first one and one for the second, like this. Let's also saturate it and power it. And finish the rest like this. This one was the last material, don't forget to save it and also check the two-sided and the material parameter. In the next video, we're gonna start working on assemble the effects by using the material that we just made. This video is gonna be the fun part and don't forget to subscribe to not miss it. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.